I'm Wyland with the Ocean Artists Society, Artists United for Oceans. The UN has declared this the decade for water, water for life decade. Water is critical to all life, to the plants, to the animals, to us. We need to protect all the water, the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the ponds, the wetlands, and of course the oceans, which are really part of the lungs of the planet. Every drop counts. You can do your part by joining the Ocean Artist Society and bringing your creativity to water conservation today. One of the things the Wyland Foundation is doing is every Earth Month for the month of April, we challenge every citizen in the U.S. to take the National Mayor's Challenge for Water Conservation. It's really simple. You just go to mywaterpledge.com. Go to mywaterpledge.com and make a simple water pledge. It really adds up. Last year, the challenge inspired over 5 billion gallons of water pledges. By making a water pledge, you're saving water, you're saving energy, you're saving money, and you're saving the planet. So just think about it. If all the citizens on Earth, all 7 billion people, did their part to be water wise and conserve water, what a beautiful effort that would be in protecting everything that is critical to the life that we enjoy. So if we're going to have a healthy life, we have to have a healthy planet. And it all starts with taking care of our water. So do your part. Go to mywaterpledge.com and follow this documentary film that the Ocean Artist Society is making for you. And uh, I hope you'll uh, give us some feedback. And we all need to be united today so that we can protect our water planet for us and future generations. Thank you, all my friends at the Ocean Artist Society. Thanks for the good work you're doing. See you soon.
water. It humbles, entices, cleanses, and nourishes. It serves as a constant reminder of the fragility of Mother Nature and all that she encompasses. She's delicate dew, mist, fog, and steam. She's with us when we're awake and in the midst of our dreams. She's hard ice and hail and soft rain, snow, and sleet that falls over our remote lands and into our busy city streets. She's brook, creek, stream, tributary, river, lake, and sea, crystalline waters for you and me. She's in our underground aquifers and clouds suspended in air, but with desertification, she may not always be there. She flows in cascades and down beautiful falls, but we must conserve her or she may not be there at all. We need her to drink, to cook, and to clean for our ornamental plants, animals, and our crops, but someday there may not be a drop. And that is our fear, that the only water left would come from our tears. So let us do our part and not be in haste. Let's conserve water. She's too precious to waste. From water springs all life, and over time water dissolves all life, no matter how solid it seems in the present. Water never repeats itself, but rather reinvents itself tirelessly, minute to minute, year to year, millennia to millennia. Water, the ancient symbol for emotion, symbol for change, medium for exploration and discovery. I am inspired by water, by the ocean, by the sea. I seek being fluid in my life, to flow the path less traveled to be carried on a current of inspiration. Can an element be a muse? Water can teach us about ourselves spiritually. If we observe its behavior, we can truly learn to go with the flow. Water is the reason we are here. Water is everything. Nothing can live without it. Earth is a blue planet. We were born from the sea. Like us, the oceans breathe, the waves and the shore ebbing and flowing like the in out of our breath. The eternal cycles of the high and low tides connecting us all to the moon. These rhythms affecting every aspect of our lives. Water changes from river to sea, from sea to rain, from plant to animal and from animal to soil. We are all interwoven and connected to each other and to the water that is constantly shifting its form and passing through, in and around us. Water for me is freedom and joy, life and living. Everything flows to the sea, and it's the importance of my knowing that water needs to be healthy and clean that I have committed my life and art to helping us all connect and appreciate water. We protect what we love. Love what you have before it is gone. I feel about the ocean isn't really anything I can explain. The best I can do is to describe it as my whole world. It leaves me feeling lucky to be alive, excited to be an artist and it always makes me feel like I'm the best human I can be, just as I am. Gliding through water is a feeling of peace and bliss. A place where you can tap back into the magic of life. The mermaid embodies our innate connection to the sea, as she is half fish and half human. She is connected to both land and sea, and that is our natural state. Water is refreshing, life-giving, and healing. In many cultures worldwide, it is considered necessary that if anything is wrong emotionally or physically, you always go to the sea to cleanse and purify your ailments. The beauty of water is something that you can see with your eyes, yes, but you can only feel it with your soul. That's what people feel when they stand in front of a large body of water. Water provides us with so much more than sustainability. It provides a world of beauty, a world of variety. This world is foreign to most. The absence of knowledge is endangering the supply of nourishment, but also endangering the supply of beauty. In Asian ancient wisdom, blessing elephants emerge from the churning of milky ocean. The secret of oceans are in a drop of water. To pollute a drop of water is to pollute in the oceans. For Dane Valerie Taylor, water is the lifeblood of our planet. Like all living things, if the blood is contaminated, the heart may struggle for a while, but it will eventually die. Our planet is a living, changing, evolving entity. 
and we are destroying its health by polluting the water flowing through its veins. It is not progress to poison your home with filthy rubbish, because in the end, you will poison yourself, yet this is what the human race is doing. It can't be controlled, but first we must change how people look at the ocean so it is seen as a living thing to be cared for and protected, not a garbage tip able to handle the waste of our exploding populations. After 57 years of diving, she sees little hope. The ocean she knew 50 years ago no longer exists, and she fears that no one hearing this will ever see how nature made the oceans, only what man has done to them. My visits to Seaview Beach in Karachi, Pakistan have been disturbing and unpleasant due to the great amount of pollution and trash. The factors are poverty, ignorance, and the uneducated. Many years ago, this beach had silvery white sand. Because of oil spills, chemicals, and sewerage, the sand has turned black as coal. Residents living close to this beach are developing illnesses. Many forms of marine life are dying. In my painting, these are just a few memories of what I have witnessed and can't even come close to the actual amount of trash and pollution. We want to see in our life simply forever. And we want that every person can have the same duties to have all the water they need for a happy and healthy life. The fact that the power of water is given to a few people is the biggest violation of human rights that our society actually experiences. In the Nile region, 90% of the water is used by only one country, and the other 10% is divided among six other countries which the Nile River passes. Similar situations occur in many other parts of the world. Administrations of the world's countries need to take accords to equally divide water. When I first heard of ocean acidification, I was appalled that I had never been told about it before, and even more so that everyone I spoke with had never heard about it. I had known about our greenhouse gases most of my life growing up and their effects on the planet, but I never stopped to think that those carbons were finding their way into our waters. Um, after researching the potential impacts on the animals and food webs in the ocean, I had to bring my camera beneath the surface to photograph them. Uh, my only hope is that my images will add a face to otherwise voiceless creatures and motivate people to rethink their carbon footprint. We all know the importance of water to our planet. Everything from the smallest critters to the largest mammals on Earth depends on our oceans. But on a more personal level though, water is one of the greatest passions to me as an artist. Underwater, light reflects and refracts into a kaleidoscope of colours which I find great joy and oftentimes great challenge in capturing. I call this painting Ripple Effect. As are many of my pieces, this is painted on a recycled mirror, symbolic of our fragile, beautiful world. The ever-expanding ripples, created from our actions, will reach distant horizons, even into the future, far beyond our immediate location in time and space. The unique cycles of water and life on our planet are beautifully interconnected. To live in symmetry with each other would be ideal. If we recognize and embrace this interconnectivity at this crucial time in history, finding ways to help it flourish, we could sustain not only the beauty of our oceans, but of life itself. In this abstract, surreal waterscape titled Soul of the Sea, I tried to express the direct connection between all of life, land, and the ocean. The direct unifying quality we all possess is water. Without it, we would be nothing, and therefore would not exist. In this oil painting, which I used water to create, depicts the hydrological cycle and how this perfect system has led to the creation of all that we know. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. An old rhyme of ancient mariners by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Can you see that flying dolphin at the tip of the wave? I paint with colored beeswax. This whole painting is nothing but wax, painted with an old iron, a blowtorch, and a turkey fryer. He came out of several sweeps of the big iron. I am unable to be precise like that. He came out of his own energy. Beneath the ocean waves, light fades quickly and sounds are the eyes of most living creatures. Traveling thousands of miles through different mediums, clicks, squeaks, trills, whistles, and moans of marine mammals are used for navigation, feeding, and communication. 
Sound pollution is a concern in offshore environments and has been decimating the quality of the animals' worlds. The ancestors of modern whales lived on land. Fossil records tell us that 50 million years ago, near present-day Pakistan, they began to spend more of their time in the ocean and eventually became fully aquatic, living, feeding, and giving birth in the water. They've undergone a number of adaptations needed to fare well in their watery home. Their bodies have become streamlined for efficient movement through the water. Their forelimbs have been modified into pectoral fins, which aid them in steering, and their tail has become broadened horizontally, consisting of two large flukes which propel them powerfully. By far the most entertaining of all the great whales, the humpbacks express their joy of living, as well as show various communication skills in the water. With breaching, fluking, and slapping behaviors, the majestic humpback whales demonstrate their ease and comfort in their new home, the water. Flowing through all of us, water connects everyone to our world. Protecting the places where water flows is vital to our planet's survival. Patrick is a former wildlife ranger who spent a lot of time in Hawaii's pristine rainforests. His painting, called Hidden Valley, features a pair of Hawaiian honey creepers called Eevee that perch before a cascading waterfall. The mist from the falls gives life to a faint rainbow as white-tailed tropic bird enjoy the updraft. As human beings, we and no other living thing on Earth have been entrusted with the care and conservation of all the water that exists on Earth today and for all time. As I visualize all the rivers, lakes, and oceans I've seen in my life, I see hope. Hope for a new life. Hope for existing life. Hope that we no longer contaminate, waste, take for granted. Hope for all mankind. United we know how. United, we know that now is a time in the course of human evolution and history to save this precious, life-giving gift for all generations to follow. Let those in the future look back in time and say, because we cared, they and all of planet Earth survived and flourished. To capture my images of the driving force of water, I stand or swim in the shallow part of the sea at the exact place where the waves break and beauty turns to chaos. If I time my shots just right, I'm rewarded with an image that shows the power of the sea. If I do not time it perfectly, I get to feel that power up close and personal, pounded into the sand or coral in the blink of an eye. The driving force of water is the driving force of man. Without clean water, we are dust. Without an intention to keep our waters as clean as possible, we fail. I'm in the sea almost every day of my life. I'm a part of it and it is a part of me. And to the extent that I can help keep our rivers, lakes, and oceans clean, count me in. Artists United. 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 For oceans.